Top 116 Dale Carnegie Quotes A barber lathers a man before he shaves him. When dealing with people, remember you are not dealing with creatures of logic, but creatures of emotion. An argument would have begun to steam and boil and sputter, and you know how arguments end. Even if I had convinced him that he was wrong, his pride would have made it difficult for him to back down and give in. Be a good listener. Encourage others to talk about themselves. Improving yourself is a lot more profitable than trying to improve others. Become genuinely interested in other people. You can't win an argument. You can't because if you lose it, you lose it, and if you win it, you lose it. Tell the audience what you're going to say, say it, then tell them what you've said. Make the other person feel important, and do it sincerely. 90% of all management problems are caused by miscommunication. In order to make friends you must first be friendly. If you want to gather honey, don't kick over the beehive. If you are wrong, admit it quickly and emphatically. People support a world they helped create. Don't be afraid to give your best to what seemingly are small jobs. Every time you conquer one it makes you that much stronger. If you do the little jobs well, the big ones will tend to take care of themselves. One of the most tragic things I know about human nature is that all of us tend to put off living. We are all dreaming of some magical rose garden over the horizon instead of enjoying the roses that are blooming outside our windows today. Don't ask a man what is important to him. Watch how he spends his time. Today is life the only life you are sure of. Make the most of today. If we think happy thoughts, we will be happy. If we think miserable thoughts, we will be miserable. Nobody kicks a dead dog. Most of us have far more courage than we ever dreamed we possessed. Self-expression is the dominant necessity of human nature. The only way on earth to influence other people is to talk about what they want and show them how to get it. People are not interested in you. They are not interested in me. They are interested in themselves, morning, noon, and after dinner. We all have possibilities we don't know about. We can do things we don't even dream we can do. Are you bored with life? Then throw yourself into some work you believe in with all your heart, live for it, die for it, and you will find happiness that you had thought could never be yours. Flattery is from the teeth out. Sincere appreciation is from the heart out. Remember happiness doesn't depend upon who you are or what you have, it depends solely on what you think. Fear is the result of a lack of confidence. A lack of confidence is the result of not knowing what you can do. A lack of knowing what you can do is caused by a lack of experience. A lack of experience is caused by a lack of doing something new. Everybody in the world is seeking happiness, and there is one sure way to find it. That is by controlling your thoughts. Happiness doesn't depend on outward conditions. It depends on inner conditions. The world is so full of people who are grabbing and self-seeking. So the rare individual who unselfishly tries to serve others has an enormous advantage. He has little competition. Today is life the only life you are sure of. Make the most of today. Get interested in something. Shake yourself awake. Develop a hobby. Let the winds of enthusiasm sweep through you. Live today with gusto. Abilities wither under criticism, they blossom under encouragement. Let the other person save face. Remember my name and you add to my feeling of importance. Ask questions instead of giving direct orders. 
The best things in life are yours, if you can appreciate yourself. Talk about your own mistakes before criticizing the other person. In a nutshell, fundamental techniques in handling people, principle 1, don't criticize, condemn or complain, principle 2, give honest and sincere appreciation, principle 3, arouse in the other person an eager want. Talk in terms of the other person's interests. Create happiness for others. Put a stop-loss order on your worries. Decide just how much anxiety a thing may be worth and refuse to give it any more. People do things for their reasons, not ours. So find their reasons. Your smile is a messenger of your goodwill. Keep your mind open to change all the time. Welcome it. Court it. It is only by examining and re-examining your opinions and ideas that you can progress. Let's not allow ourselves to be upset by small things we should despise and forget. Remember, life is too short to be little. Dot. Take a chance. All life is a chance. There are four ways, and only four ways, in which we have contact with the world. We are evaluated and classified by these four contacts, what we do, how we look, what we say, and how we say it. He who treads softly goes far. Your smile brightens the lives of all who see it. To someone who has seen a dozen people frown, scowl or turn their faces away, your smile is like the sun breaking through the clouds. How to win friends and influence people. Your smile brightens the lives of all who see it. Confusion is the main cause of worry. Perhaps you will forget tomorrow the kind words you say today, but the recipient may cherish them over a lifetime. The man who starts out going nowhere, generally gets there. Listen first. Give your opponents a chance to talk. Let them finish. Do not resist, defend or debate. This only raises barriers. Try to build bridges of understanding. Happiness doesn't depend on any external conditions, it is governed by our mental attitude. Obviously, circumstances alone do not make us happy or unhappy. It is the way we react to circumstances that determines our feelings. Jesus said that the kingdom of heaven is within you. That is where the kingdom of hell is, too. Be sympathetic with the other person's ideas and desires. You are going to survive. And good things are going to start to happen again. And one day you are going to look back and this will not even be such a bad thing. Neither you nor I nor Einstein nor the Supreme Court of the United States is brilliant enough to reach an intelligent decision on any problem without first getting the facts. By fighting you never get enough, but by yielding you get more than you expected. People who talk only of themselves think only of themselves. Criticism is futile because it puts a person on the defensive and usually makes them strive to justify themselves. Criticism is dangerous because it wounds a person's precious pride, hurts their sense of importance, and arouses resentment. Much of the best work of the world has been done against seeming impossibilities. Unjust criticism is usually disguised compliment. It often means that you have aroused jealously and envy. Remember that no one ever kicks a dead log. So, to prevent fatigue and worry, the first rule is rest often. Rest before you get tired. Learn to love, respect and enjoy other people. Act enthusiastic and you will be enthusiastic. The essence of all art is to have pleasure in giving pleasure. Your purpose is to make your audience see what you saw, hear what you heard, feel what you felt. Is enthusiasm important in selling? 
Yes, genuine, heartfelt enthusiasm is one of the most potent factors of success in almost any undertaking. If you can't sleep, then get up and do something instead of lying there worrying. It's the worry that gets you, not the lack of sleep. Let the winds of enthusiasm sweep through you. Live today with gusto. Forget yourself by becoming interested in others. Every day do a good deed that will put a mile of joy on someone's face. I found that worry and irritation vanish into thin air the moment I open my mind to the many blessings I possess. Today is the only time we can possibly live. The royal road to a man's heart is to talk to him about the things he treasures most. Every day I pray. I yield myself to God and the tensions and anxieties go out of me and peace and power come in. If you tell me how you get your feeling of importance, I'll tell you what you are. When fate hands you a lemon, make lemonade. Any fool can try to defend his or her mistakes, and most fools do, but it raises one above the herd and gives one a feeling of nobility and exultation to admit one's mistakes. You can dramatize your ideas in business or in any other aspect of your life. It's easy. Hurting a man in his dignity is a crime. If you do something for someone else, never remember. If someone does something for you, never forget. The expression a woman wears on her face is far more important than the clothes she wears on her back. The biggest lesson I have learned is the stupendous importance of what we think. If I knew what you think, I would know what you are, for your thoughts make you what you are. By changing our thoughts, we can change our lives. If some people are so hungry for a feeling of importance that they actually go insane to get it, imagine what miracle you and I can achieve by giving people honest appreciation this side of insanity. Remember that the people you are talking to are a hundred times more interested in themselves and their wants and problems than they are in you and your problems. Applause is a receipt, not a bill. Enthusiasm is that ingredient of vitality mixed with a firm belief in what you are doing. That ensures the success of any project you undertake. If you have some idea you believe in, don't listen to the croaking chorus. Listen only to what your own inner voice tells you. Happiness is largely an attitude of mind, of viewing life from the right angle. The sure thing boat never gets far from shore. Patience and perseverance will accomplish more in this world than a brilliant dash. Remember that when something goes wrong, Dealing with people is probably the biggest problem you face, especially if you are in business. Yes, and that is also true if you are a housewife, architect or engineer. Winning friends begins with friendliness. Criticisms are like homing pigeons. They always return home. Merely stating a truth isn't enough. The truth has to be made vivid, interesting, dramatic. You have to use showmanship. The person who seeks all their applause from outside has their happiness in another's keeping. 